Center of the Haas Business School. We were both from Budapest, Hungary, and we came to Berkeley in 2008. Well, I just tried to maintain my professorship as a hobby. So. I used to be the coach of the UC Berkeley ballroom team. Now I have my own uh, sizzling Latin um, ballroom company and I train competitive dancers and teach even social dancing. I started when I was four and then I tried all the dance styles possible, even belly dancing. I seriously lack the belly dancing experience but I started 18 years ago. I started dancing, we get back together with the ex-girlfriend and it totally didn't work out. <laughs> And I met her a year or two later. The coaches there, uh, when they found out that we were, we were dating, they advised against it. It's not good to date and dance. I like to think of it as very efficient because we take care of all the fighting during the dance practice. We never fight outside. I love it, but at the same time, sometimes it's a little bit lonely because in the competitions, the people are all, you know, kind of look artificial and this whole artificial environment and sometimes it's hard to perform, like naturally with all these, you know, fringes, feathers, huge eyelashes. For me, it's just the tan and hair. Washing it off is the more difficult. For a professional dancer, accessories are everything. I buy the fa uh, fabrics and, uh, and the stones and um, my dressmaker in Hungary made it. And uh, this way it's much cheaper. But here in the US, you can get this kind of uh, dress for around $5,000. And then traveling is tough, but no. Most of the competitions are the weekends. The, the biggest problem is my, if my students find uh, my dancing videos before class. They think I'm somehow like such a fun, fun person, but I'm not. I'm like very organized and disciplined. And I, I actually like to do the choreography, so I don't improvise. So me, me I don't myself, I don't like social dancing. But that's different for her. And everybody's surprised, like like the students, that how how many layers it has and how deep it is and um, what level of understanding of uh, of our body it requires to be a good dancer. And that's why I love teaching because the people they, they just find so much joy exploring this. Our last goal was to get in the first 100 at the Blackpool competition, which is probably the most famous dance competition in the world. Uh, so we achieved that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have this goal, there's this famous uh, tour of competitions in Asia called the Asian Tour. And we want to win a rising star competition there. So we play second and third, mm -hmm. but never first. So maybe next year. So after winning, we are happy that, that you know, if we achieve something, but right away the next day we're traveling and and do the next competition and uh, and uh, do the next training session and so it's it's never stops